if anybody here at the table is talking about anything and you're on your phone, that would be rude. It's why we explicitly told you before the show to not be on your phone. Now, if you want to do some loophole bullshit about, oh, it's not a phone, it's a Tamagotchi, in practice, it's this exact same principle. She's made herself look so stupid. She doesn't. She doesn't even see it. She thinks she's being funny. No, I think. I think deep down, she knows how dumb she looks. She's just, that's why she's trying so hard to Maybe. fight. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace, and today is another reaction video. As you can see, I am joined by Nazarin today. Hi. We're gonna be reacting to some clips, guys. Like the video on your way in. Let's get straight into it. Without further, what, what are you doing over there? What's that? Oh, I was feeding my tamagotchi. You're feeding your Tamagotchi? Yeah. When we explicitly told you before the podcast not to be on your phone, not to be texting. Sorry. Do you think that's the appropriate time to be doing that? My bad. What do you mean you're bad? My bad. Do you, do you, did you forget the pre-show instructions that Nick went over about not being on your phone? It's not my phone. It's not on your phone. I really don't understand people who come all the way to a podcast just to go on their phone. I remember I used to sit on the pregame, it used to irritate me differently. Because mm. we like, are you in the conversation or are you not? But the thing is, she's just acting dumb because clearly he's not talking about just being on your phone. He's talking about not having your attention for yeah. you in the podcast. It's just respect. Discussion. It's basic respect. Like, oh, you think you look cool because you don't have respect for the show that you, you're on. But it's like you're obviously there mm. for a reason. Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't be there. And she's trying to be edgy. Like, oh, I'm just feeding my Tamagotchi. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. That's just hilarious. It's not a phone. Now she's being... <laughs> It's not a phone. Get right. out. She's trying to be a smart ass. <laughs> Get out. At that point, I'd be like, bye. Yeah. Goodbye. No, same. Does that diminish the degree to which it would be disrespectful to be doing that in the midst of a conversation? Okay, here's your phone. Looking at your phone versus looking at your Tamagotchi. Are you just going to take no accountability or are you just going to sit there like a dork? I said my bad. Okay. Do you, do you realize, though, if, if we were having a conversation and you were on your Tamagotchi while I was talking to you, that would be very disrespectful? You weren't talking to me. I'm, I'm in the middle of doing... It's a podcast. The context of the show is that everyone is in a group conversation. Yeah, she's just making excuses. She's just trying to be edgy. The podcast. If anybody here at the table is talking about anything and you're on your phone, that would be rude. It's why we explicitly told you before the show to not be on your phone. Now, if you want to do some loophole bullshit about, oh, it's not a phone, it's a Tamagotchi. In practice, it's this exact same principle. She's made herself look so stupid. She doesn't, she doesn't even see it. She thinks she's being funny. No, I think, I think deep down she knows how dumb she looks. She's just, that's why she's trying so hard to Maybe. fight. I hope so. <laughs> okay. So can you do me a favor and put your Tamagotchi somewhere else uh -huh. so I can continue on with the show? Thank you. Yeah, I guess. You, you okay? Yeah. Uh, did you have something on this or? No, Sounds... it's just like a little bit boring. You're, it's boring? A little bit. You're the one who, you asked to be on the show. I didn't. Yeah, you reached out to us wanting to be on the show. I didn't. Oh, who did? Someone on your behalf reached out. In the, I don't know who did it, but you did. You asked me to come on. No, you guys contacted us. Initially, we followed up with you to see about coming on. Did you not send the first message? Uh, no. Yeah, you did. Or are you saying your boyfriend reached out to us? No. Do, you need, do I literally need to pull up the Instagram messages and show you that you reached out to us wanting to be on the show? Uh, what In any know? case, it's kind of rude to say that this is boring. Well, you asked what's wrong, so I'm just telling you straight up. I'm just bored. If you're bored, then leave. I just can't believe the disrespect. Mm. How does she not know how stupid she looks? I'd be so embarrassed if I was her parents, or even if I was her boyfriend. Mm. What? Maybe that's because you're too fixated on wanting to play your bullshit Tamagotchi. It's not bullshit, dude. Are you really that triggered that I called your Tamagotchi bullshit? I'm not triggered, it's just not bullshit. Tamagotchis you, you, are cool. You, you seem a little offended <laughs> What's by it. What's problem with the Tamagotchi, man? Maybe you're bored because you're not really participating in the conversation, and every time we've gone around the table, get to you, you just kind of give a half-assed, these are just dumbass questions, bro. Like what? You you asked to be on the show. No, I didn't. <laughs> you're being very you're being very rude and disrespectful. Okay. 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 
So you asked to be here. I'll pull up. I'll pull up the, the initial messages that you sent us. Hold on. Let me scroll up one sec here. This is so embarrassing. She's bored. She's literally diverted the whole show to make it all about her. Mm. What she means is the attention isn't on me, and I don't like it. Yeah, this is probably her goal. Okay, September sixth, you DM'd us. Hey. I said hi, or wait, hold on. You've sent us messages from two different accounts. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's uh, one sec. Typically, if you're bored, um, maybe that's just projection. Maybe you're the bored. Hold on. Okay, I, I'm not going to pull it up, but you messaged us wanting to be on the show. We did not message you. Okay, bro. What's with the attitude? What do you mean? You have an attitude. Do you think if you're in a conversation with somebody and you say, this is boring, do you think that... Again, this is something children do. Mm. We have so many infantile adults. I mean, she's playing Tamagotchi, which I used to play when I was about seven. So it kind of says it all, doesn't it? That's a polite you thing. You asked what's wrong. <laughs> what? Okay, so what... I'm curious, what, how would you like to see this conversation go, since you're so bored? So you're bored, make this conversation less boring, go ahead. Uh, I'm waiting. How often do you think about the Roman Empire, Brian? That, is that your best effort? Sure. Yeah, so I checked on both of our messages here. You reached out to us. You said, my o OF friends, manager, and I would love to be on your podcast August 22nd. You asked me what this podcast is about. I'm assuming you reached out to be on this show because you've seen the clips. You've seen the show. No, I haven't. You, okay. A mess, you sent the first message. It wasn't me, it was probably my manager. Okay. It most definitely was my manager. The guy with the green hair that was down there? No, that's my boyfriend, that's not my manager. Okay. <laughs> so, in any case, a message originating from your Instagram. See, here's the thing. If I have a representative contact somebody and I'm working on a business deal, they can say that you made the offer. In any case, you're not particularly adding to the conversation. You've been disrespectful this entire time. You're entitled, you're rude, you have TikTok brain, you cannot stay focused. We've only been live for an hour and a half or so. Um, it's incredibly rude to say that you're bored in a conversation. Uh, you literally asked though. Like, what do you want me to say? Well, Instead I appreciate the truth, but you're being rude. So I'm gonna ask you to leave. Okay. So get up, get the fuck out. Yeah. Go ahead, Madison. That is so embarrassing. Okay. That is so embarrassing. She doesn't look anywhere near as cool as she thinks she does. No. And I know she felt really like ashamed walking out there. Yeah. Like, I know that feeling. It's like when you're a child and you get in trouble with the teacher and then yeah. they tell you to leave the classroom and then yeah. you kind of you're shaking like but they have to you have to act kind of cool like you're okay. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what she was going through in that moment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Why? <laughs> why did she come? Yeah. Wait, that was the Ooh, weirdest. I thought you guys got her from down there. And no. no, I thought so. I thought yeah. she was from the street. I yeah. So I was like, wait. She was from the street. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, that's funny. Well, She's got on my dead ass podcast, bitch. You fucking do OnlyFans. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> Good, they're all gone. No more OnlyFans, girls. <laughs> Is I she, could, I could is literally. Is she the one who stabbed her boyfriend? No, that's no. her. Oh. <laughs> Which we're about to get into. Here, we need. To, I, I almost think that we. Do we adjust the seating arrangement a little bit? Do you need me to like scoot over? I almost feel like we could tighten it up a little bit. So why don't you two shift down? So you two just shift down. Hey, what's the number on your microphone there? Oh, let's take her out. We're taking her out of the this description. Is four. That's five. Nick, mute four. Okay, no, no, no. Here, just you yeah. get in that seat. You yes. get in that seat. See the chat. I was. 
I, I, could, I was about to kick her off right away, but I wanted to get a little back. I was, I was committed to kicking her off pretty much as soon as she said she was bored, but I wanted to drag it out a little bit. Um, I would have kicked her out of the Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah, that chick was obnoxious. Um, yo, she asked to come on. She, she DM'd us asking to be on the show, so whatever. Um, I'm going to adjust the cameras a little. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, <laughs> that took me a while. <laughs> but I forgot where we were a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I, I, I removed it from the, uh, from the uh, thing. Let me just make sure I got it right. Okay, we're good. It's out. Um, nah, she was just rude from the fucking jump. Like, she was on her fucking Tamagotchi. Donated $99. Clapping, 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 <laughs> clapping, clapping, <laughs> clapping, <laughs> clapping, <laughs> clapping, oh clapping, 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 clapping. Wow, could she be any more rude? <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, bro. Clapping, clapping. Um, we were wow. up to you telling us about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. <laughs> I like that term, TikTok brain. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Yeah, same. I can see it. So many. That is what it is as well. People nowadays, yeah, they just have such short att attention. And it's span. because of TikTok and just shorts and. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. I actually, um, this is so weird and random, but I focus my attention span by watching an entire washing machine cycle. I just sit there watching the whole thing. And it forces you to concentrate on your life and not have any distractions around you. You just sit there looking at it and then you're thinking about like your life and things. It's very therapeutic. Men are weak. They skip leg day because they can't handle the pain. We carry a human for nine months. We get cramps every single month. So we still manage to train legs two to three times a week. Be a man, train like a woman. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, if you're a man and you're not training leg day like a woman, you're weak. You're pathetic. You are bitch and big bitch, you said. And obviously, because women get period cramps every month and have to go through childbirth, they're a lot stronger than us. Biological advantages don't make any difference. Pfft, what are they? This is why she's got over half a million people following her and taking her advice about fitness, because she knows exactly what she's talking about. Are you natural or not? Am I natural or not? That's for you guys to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a dude or a girl. So just guess. Huh? Take a wild guess. What? I, I don't know what they're going to say. Well, unless you tell them. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm natural. You're natural? Yeah. Lifetime natural? Yes. Why don't There's no way. There's no way. No female body can look like that, even with... It's different to take something, steroids or whatever. Yeah. There's no way. Well, we were just debating whether it's a man or a woman, so... <laughs> so... The fuck you lying? Why you always lying? How do you think I keep my face? <laughs> <laughs> so lifetime natural. And what division do you compete in? Bodybuilding. Okay. So men, or sorry, women's bodybuilding. Yes. Why is he even asking this question? It's obvious that it's natural. Just look. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. I can't believe that you even asked if that was a man or a woman. Isn't it just so obvious that that's a woman? Where's a woman? <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Someone said, no one's staring at you, Squidward. <laughs> Words can't express how completely unsafe I feel at this gym now. The way she stops and stares, I felt uncomfortable and unsafe. It's outrageous, egregious, preposterous. I hate when but people walk front of the camera on purpose. It's too heavy for me. You're doing it on purpose, I swear to God. This guy is doing it on purpose. The hell is wrong with you? What? No, this is TikTok right here, down on TikTok. And he, he's, go, he's going on TikTok right now. What an absolute donut. Not only for acting like that, but for posting this and thinking people would take his side when he just got ripped. Congratulations, you played yourself. What's most disappointing about this video is you say at the end, this is going on TikTok, as if you're looking for something to get upset about just so you can post it on social media for some clout. I'm sorry, but you don't get to set your phone up across the gym, then act like that space is yours and nobody can walk by. Newsflash. You don't own the gym, and if somebody happens to walk by through your video, too bad. And if you go to the gym, right?
Yes. Do you like? Do you see people doing this at the gym? I suppose sometimes, but to be honest with you, no one's really been a problem for me. They just don't seem to care mm. about anyone at the uh, anyone walking in front. That being said, you go if, to quite a nice yeah, gym, though, you don't you? Nice gym. And if someone did have a problem with that, I mean, really, you don't own the gym. I'm sorry, but your camera is not more important than my workout. Mm-hmm. The first time she ever saw a gym was on TikTok and now she's entered one, she's realised, fuck, people actually work out. They don't just stand there and film themselves like me. PLV, you tell people when they're in the frame. Excuse me, do you know how I'm filming this way? Yeah. Do you mind being in the frame? Yeah. Cool, yeah? Pardon? Oh no, you can stay, no, no, no. By the way, just so you know, I'm filming this way. I don't, right. No, 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 I don't mind, I don't mind. I'm gonna say like, do you mind? Well, I'm going to ruin your video. Oh, no, you're not going to ruin it. It's okay. I, I, I think that's good that she's at least telling people, yeah. like, yeah, I'm she's filming. She's being quite nice about it. She, she seems to be mind. being okay about it. I mean, it's a bit annoying. Like, why do you have to yeah. film in the first place? If I go to the gym, I don't want to be filmed. Oh, trust me. Get like, down to it. And, like, out. if he, like, it's just, it puts him a bit on the spot, doesn't it? Like, oh, like, you know, I don't mind you being here. But then it's like, if he doesn't want to film, he still has to move. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like, oh, guys, just don't film yourself at the gym. Why, why do you need to film <laughs> I just don't get it. And notice how with the girls as well, they're always filming from the back. Why? Why? <laughs> Fellas, I've said it before, but your life's going to be a lot easier if you get a woman with a sense of humour. I've been with women before that take themselves way too serious and they're usually a pain in the ass. Gym culture is cringe. Ever since late 2022, gyms have been absolutely atrocious. You got dudes working out in corny masks. You got dudes out here acting like they're anime villains. And then you also got women out here calling dudes creeps for literally no reason at all. The gym went from being about hard work, discipline, and respect, but now it's all about ego, clout, and greed. And it's honestly getting annoying. Yeah, he's not wrong. It went from hard work, discipline, respect to a bunch of corny muppets acting on TikTok. Now, me personally, if you want to make a little TikTok looking like an anime villain, I'm not going to join you. But if you're not doing no harm, go ahead and do it. Especially if you're getting in shape at the same time. It's when these people start lying or trying to make out other people are pervers. That's what bothers me. And in general, I think the cameras in the gym are annoying, but there's a lot of influencers that I have seen that are pretty decent and inspired a lot of younger guys to get in the gym because of their content. So I'm not completely against it. See, this guy, he took the first woman's advice and he trained leg day <laughs> like a woman. Be a man and train leg day like a woman. After 20 years, scientists have finished mapping the entire human genome and scientists say in this gene right here, we can see what made you into such a little bitch. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. I have a genuine question for all men. All sexually active men, I should say. If I'd slept with like, say, 20 men, would you be bothered? Here we go again. Yes. You would be bothered. Why? Yeah. I would, wouldn't entertain him. Why? Because your body count was 20. What's wrong with 20? He's definitely got double standards. 20 whole man, whole people, yeah. Lost their mind. But what if. Anish. <laughs> Here we go. If Angelica had slept with 20 men, would it bother you? I don't think we'd be together. <laughs> To be honest. How, how do you feel about that? You have every right to have the opinion. Can't say yes or no to that. It's your opinion. Do you agree with the opinion? Yeah, definitely. You know, if you do want to have your body count 20 as a girl, you do you, but don't expect everyone to agree with your stance. Like uh, Everyone have their own opinions, their own minds. If a guy doesn't follow it or has similar views, then find another one. Like, what's your problem? Why do you have to be so... Entitled? Yeah. Facts. <laughs> She had a bad past, but they were all from the past, like young, stupid, and now she is untouchable, but she just has 20 bodies. But she's not untouchable because she is. She is touch. now, though. You can't just decide. I don't, how do you justify that? Yeah, so one thing that she said was about a bad past, and if you've ever invested in anything before, you know, like stock markets or whatever, the best way to judge 
an asset's performance in the future is by looking at the past and making, you know, well-informed judgments and guesses. But she's changed. She's redeemed herself. Actions speak louder than words. Can't argue with that logic. To be untouchable. Hold your horses there, bruv. It's 2023, nearly 2024. If I want to wake up tomorrow and decide that I'm a woman or a cat, I can do that. <laughs> if she wants to decide that she's got zero bodies after being with 20, she can do that. Then you're going to put three ounces of bourbon in. Are you sure about that? So this is a pretty strong drink. And not that many people order it. And you rate me on a scale of one to ten. Four. You guys date a girl that has an OnlyFans. Never. I mean, I like some... No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. I just knew the eyes were coming my way. No. Nasty shit, but nah. $5,000 or one night with me? I'm probably going to take the five bands. <laughs> That's hard. I don't like rejection. Uh, I still take the five bands. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Kiss or slap? <laughs> nah, I'm married. You married? Yeah, I'm married. It's just a slap. Nah, I'm married. You sure? <laughs> Positive. All right. Now nah, fuck off. I'm actually convinced. It sounded like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe girls like this actually exist? Like she's literally gone up to a stranger and been like, "Do you want to slap my ass?" I, I can't believe they actually do that because they, they look like very pretty girls and i'm thinking why are you doing this like you could have had a husband and family yet you're walking around asking people strangers to slap your ass like well, what what does that achieve for you <laughs> they get you know? views on tiktok and then they they can there are other ways you can do that <laughs> without slapping your ass or showing your body up so all of these OnlyFans TikTok girls that ask these dumbass questions are all NPCs that come from the same government facility. I basically think they're a government experiment that went completely wrong. And now they're just out in the wild, malfunctioning, asking dumbass questions. Obese <laughs> <laughs> is the N word for plus size people. Obese, please. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. What? I ain't even taking the piss on this one. She definitely looks closer to early 30s and she does early 20s. And everyone in the comments said the same thing. We need to stop dating ugly men. Oh my god. Why she think she can say Oh man. I like to make music that moves people. Clap, 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 clap that ass, bitch. Shake that camel tail. Let me see them put Turn that shit off. Eleven years later. But she in my twenties. I would not have thought that I would be single and dating at four. Do you know what's really interesting? I heard this recently. Eight out of ten women who are single and childless, like past the point of childbearing age, so like they literally, they can't have kids anymore. Eight out of ten of them said that they didn't expect to be there. They didn't plan on being in that position. They didn't plan on never having children. Most people who are single, single and childless past the age of like 35, 40, this, this, that's not what they planned. Yeah. That's not what they planned. And the problem is, is that there's a lot of people right now that will be in their late 20s acting like they're still in their early 20s or late teenage years, not realising that, like, once that time comes around, like, that's it, it's done. Like, you can't just suddenly become fertile again. Well, everyone wants that, uh, the movie life, you know? Mm -hmm. I had my fun, I met a, a mm. partner, and then everything fell into place, I got married, I had kids. But that only happens if you work for it. Mm -hmm. 41. <laughs> Nice shot! Regret. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you watching this that are into business and want to know what good investments to make for the future. I suggest you invest in cats, because cats are going to be in high demand in 10 years. You know there's been loads of people investing in cat food and wine? Really? Yeah, because they've already predicted 50.1% of women will be single and childless in the UK by, 20, by 2030. So that's one in two women will be single and childless by 2030 in the UK. And that number is just on the incline. It's not what, going what's down. What's the age bracket for that? Do you know? Uh, I think it's like all, all women. So it'd be like 18 to like 65. I can double check, but I think it's something like that. It'd be interesting to know what, what, what like the bracket is. Yeah, let me look it up. 50.1% of women born in 1990 did not have a child by the age 
by age 30, whilst this number was 18% for women born in 1971. So it's women born after 1990. That's pretty exponential growth, 18 to 50 in, what was that, 20 years? Mm -hmm. So there's lots of, like, millionaires investing in cat food and wine because, well... (laughs) That's all these women are going to be able to do. <laughs> these women are going to be fighting for cats. And I don't even know if the cats are going to want to go with them. I think we're actually going to have to decide who gets the cats. How much does a guy have to make to date you? At least like 200,000 a year. 200. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. That's, I think, top 0.5% mm. of people. Yeah, in the UK, the average salary is about 25k. Yeah, yeah. So, no. Has she ever met anyone that owns so much? <laughs> Or is she just making it up, like just oh, thin air? What is this? Do you, do you have did you have a an amount a, a salary? I mean, like, obviously you guys have been together since we were like teenagers, so it's a bit of a different story. But like, I say for argument's sake, you weren't. Is there like a, an amount a guy has to earn for you to date them? I don't think so. As long as he has a job, he just earns enough to just live, have pay for a house, and that's it. Then mm-hmm. yeah, that's clearly fine. The amount that she's asking for. Yeah, that is just like, that's a cherry on top, yeah, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have to be like that. Like, Mm -hmm. you can make it together if you really wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that I think most of these girls, they just say it at this point. They don't even Mm realise, like, what they're saying. They don't realise how rare that is to come across. And it's because they've been told, like, you need a guy who's going to pay for everything. You don't have to work at all. And, like, what they're being told is basically, like, what you were saying. It's like the Disneyland movie thing. It's Mm -hmm. not, like, an actual relationship, like an Mm -hmm. actual relationship requires work like okay if he makes enough that you don't have to work great but it's like we we don't live in fairyland chances are there might be a point in time where you do have to work and it's like they almost don't understand what a relationship is and it's like Mm -hmm. men have been reduced to nothing but what can you provide for me rather than like a relationship being like a two-way thing mm-hmm. that requires effort on both I think sides. The reason why is they just haven't seen the real relationships. Because most of us are like grew up with single parents, single mothers around t- technology and media, and you just don't know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, so it's really hard to kind of find out for yourself. Like if you've not had like, something yeah, there yeah, to yeah, model from. You, would you compare it to like a Disney movie? Like it's nothing. Yeah, there's no example, real life examples that have literally worked and are realistic to show you this is what you should expect. Like this. yeah bare minimum but bare minimum is not this salary or no the most attractive guy or six foot over like it's just not realistic ouch <laughs> <laughs> 100,000 mm-hmm. that's crazy <laughs> god damn alright so what do you what do you think they, they job gonna be being 200k probably something with computers engineering Look at her face, she is dead ass serious. She really thinks that she's gonna get a man that earns 200,000 a year. Not gonna happen! No, not gonna happen! <laughs> I wanna go up and with you. You need to give me a kiss. Oh, so what do you think about giving that guy a kiss? I have a boyfriend. No, I said I wasn't single. Are you single? Yes, sir. Remember, I love you! That's crazy. It's an evil world we live in. Biggest ick when it comes to men. Um, sassy that block me because why the fuck are you blocking me you can't take what i'm dishing out she what did so you dish ready? out um a lot like if i call your mother a bitch, you should accept that? the fact that she's a bitch. she seems nice not rocket science for this one is it fellas if she's got no eyebrows and she calls your mum a bitch she belongs to the streets this is the world that we live in guys this is this is it this is our generation as well this is people our age unbelievable <laughs> this is the state of it this is the state of it we just gotta hope that there's there's people out there who do have sense and Maybe those are the people that are saying no to these people who come up to them with a microphone. Like, what's your biggest ick? Like, can you imagine if someone came up to us and was like, what's your biggest ick on the street? We'd be like, you, go away. <laughs> go, go have some food with your friends. Do something in real life. Get off TikTok. That's, that's all I can take from this. These people need to get off TikTok. Like, that girl genuinely thinks what she was saying wasn't delusional. The 200,000 thing. And, like, I've met loads of them here as well. Like, when Pal does the live show on the panel, like, they genuinely believe that what they're saying is realistic. An attitude. You do a lot of things too. Imagine if I did the same thing. Imagine if I dropped a YouTube video today flirting with other guys in person. How would you feel? How would you feel? You would be moved out. I thought the rule was I just couldn't have any girls over here. Okay, so then if that's the rule, I'm I'm gonna release a video today, tomorrow, of me flirting with guys. Let's see how you feel. I guarantee you will cry yourself to sleep, so I don't even want to hear it. I'm giving my 30-day notice. Get the f*** 
fuck out, bitch. You're not even on the lease. You bad, you bad. Me and Nick will never get back together. I cried an hour before going live, so trust me, it's not fake. You will never get back together, ever, ever, ever. So this Muppet breaks up of her sim boyfriend, then she asks him to move in with her, and now she's pissed off that he's flirting with other girls in his YouTube videos. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. I mean, it makes sense, considering she's an angel. I can understand why she's angry. It's not like she was a porn star and still making OnlyFans content when they were together. So is that is that still a thing that she's gonna do while you guys are dating? It, OnlyFans? Yeah. She didn't do OnlyFans, but she's not doing. Wow. Yeah. Look at you, dude. I know. Dude, wow. I, I fell in love, man. I know. Holy. Sh I know. Yeah. What do you think about it? Several months later. Me and Nick break up. Yes, we did. I've been avoiding that subject. We did break up. <laughs> My alter ego. His name is Daniel, and oh. he's from Manchester. Oh, whoa. And he has a little British accent, oh, you know. Nice. That's cool. And it's actually... Uh, I'm sorry, it, it's, I think you suffer from a mental illness. That is what we call dissociative identity disorder. What the... How do you identify? Actually, I identify as... Uh... I've seen this video before. I absolutely adore this lady. <laughs> absolutely adore her. Hi. Actually, I identify as, uh... Oh, here we go. It's that long plethora of, what? oh my god. Wait for it. I will. Let me get a chair. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Don't take the bullshit, lady. Honestly. <laughs> Literally, let me get a chair and then I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> all romantic panse pansexual. I love all genders sexually, but dating-wise, romantically... You mean... Both? <laughs> all? You mean both, right? I'm only attracted to men. So you're gay? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm only attracted to men, so you're gay. Are you straight or bisexual? Do you like older women? Yes, I do. I have a lot of trans friends. If they were dead named, it would be shattering to them. I think it's very wrong. In the wise words of Candace Owen, life's tough, man. Get a helmet. These people are weak. Weak tea. A few moments later. Well, why do names matter so much? It's not as deep as you think it is. It's just... You know, I hate the world that we live in. But at the same time, if it wasn't for these absolute loony bins, I wouldn't have a job. So, uh, we love them. Thank you for being mentally unstable. <laughs> A title. If they were dead named, it would be shattering to them. I think it's very wrong. Well, why do names matter so much? Tripod is crazy. Tripod is a little crazy. Tripod? A little crazy. Are you an influencer? I want to be. One day? Yeah. Well, I think you should probably not be in coming Georgia if you want to be an influencer. Am I gonna be in the background or break your phone? Am I gonna be in the background or break your phone? Too right. You're 14. You look like a future trailer park mom with three kids and no father. A modern day genius. <laughs> you ain't lying. I say whatever the fuck I want. Who wanna uh, pop me? Nobody. Man, you ain't nobody at home to pop. You single. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite jokes from a comic right now is Jeff. Really? Uh, yeah. If Lizzo is so pretty, why do women get mad when I say you look like this? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's a checkmate. I tell yeah. skinny chicks now, like these these like wokey kind of like skinny white chicks, I go, oh my gosh, you look very pretty. And like, thank you. I was like, you look like Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> and they're like, I was like, well, what? You know, we're all playing along that she's a gorgeous woman. And, I she was and Lizzo's a big, beautiful lady. <laughs> they just go to you, I, you know what we mean. Yeah. Turns out you're all full of shit. Something that you wish more people knew about women's basketball. We're more skilled than men. I mean, it's obvious, but I guess. Something.
something isn't adding up there. I want you to accept the fact like that we're more skilled. Like men are more athletic, but like I feel like girls are like way more skilled. I feel like they just skip past that whole point. And if that was the case, if women were more skilled, you would think that would make the game more entertaining. So you would think that most women's sports wouldn't be at a profit loss and that they would set out almost every game just as much if not more than the men so i just can't understand why they don't Do you know what's really sad is that none of these girls are actually ugly none of them are ugly but yet they all feel a need to make themselves look ridiculously fake Vodka lemonade, please. On it. Babe? Yeah? When's the food gonna be ready? 15 minutes, baby. Cool. You gonna go play another game? Let me know when it's done. Okay. Here, put this in the washer while you're at it. Thanks. <laughs> Sensational. How much are these? 9.99. You think I can get some bitches with me? What did he say? <laughs> Silver Surfer will reportedly be a woman in Fantastic Four. As a woman and a huge Silver Surfer fan, <clears throat> I do not approve this message. I'm so bummed. Walking way too close. I'll slow down. Yeah. And this feels even creepier. Guess I'm passing. Guess I'm not someone who doesn't know how to skip a meal. Damn! Funny to you, huh? I'm passing a phone to someone who got two different baby daddies. <laughs> They're nowhere to be. <laughs> All right, what's yours? You guys are all just like really misogynistic. How do you define misogyny? I don't know, I don't like this. How do you, I'm just asking how you define misogyny. Is she crying? Are you okay? Like, do you want, you, like, you want to go as in leave? Is it because I asked how you define misogyny? Is that the... <laughs> No, no, I'd, I'd like to go home if Cause... that's allowed. I think she's on something. I think she's on some kind of substance. Or she didn't take the substance that the doctor probably recommended. Because I asked about how you define misogyny. My red dress on tonight. I'm dancing right. Right. Is a monthly shopping budget you would give your girlfriend? Before my divorce, five grand. Now, a thousand. Why did it change so much? I lost five million in the divorce. What? What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Three. Three? That's the lowest I've gotten. No, that's the, the solid three. I appreciate that. I would say, I'll give you like a six. A six? Yeah. Are you just saying that because you're salty? No, I, I would give you six before this. But you're cute. Honestly, yeah, no. Honestly, I think that's a low rating. You think that's low? Six is above average. Oh. Yeah, I give myself a solid eight. Really? Solid eight. No. Well, hey, we can agree to disagree. I'm just being honest. No, 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 no. They caught their homie's current girlfriend cheating at the party on his birthday. Yeah, enough said. <laughs> Couldn't really agree more. I'm surprised that they didn't really expose her, embarrass her, because they absolutely should have done. Like, that is so disrespectful in front of all of his friends as well. Like, you can't be doing that.